I don't like to talk about things that people already know, so I'm going to try to talk about something that you don't know. As a matter of fact, um, we're used to seeing patterns that we know. I mean, you look up in the night sky, you're used to seeing the Big Dipper. Why do you see the Big Dipper? Well, because somebody told you that the Big Dipper was there. But what about if you wanted to see a muscle man instead? Okay. Now, this is not Orion because he doesn't have the three stars on his belt. What I'm going to try to do today is to talk about some ideas that you, that you probably haven't thought about, or maybe if you thought about them, they were intuitive to you as a designer. I'd like to ask the question, what is it that allows us to see patterns, and what patterns are used to seeing, are useful for a designer to see? What, what should we, how many of you in here are instructional designers? Let me just do a little audience analysis here. Instructional designers, okay. How many of you consider yourself to be forward-looking or cutting-edge instructional designers? Want to move ahead? Don't want to just be treading at the mill? Yeah, okay. You don't want to just be treading at the mill. You want to be exposed to some new ideas. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to define a, a, a design concept which is called operational principle. And I'm going to try to demonstrate its usefulness to designers. And I'm going to try to apply that concept to instructional design and in order to uh, get my point going here, I need to, uh, you guys did this when you were young, right? Yo-yo. And the idea is that you can do all kinds of tricks. I, don't, I better not try some tricks because <laughs> they could be damaging, but one of the tricks that we can do, and I tried this last night for my wife, and okay, that was not very impressive, but because uh, some of you guys could probably thank you very much. I, I feel much better. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk about yo-yos. First, I'm going to give a definition, and then I'm going to try to explain why yo-yos are important. By the way, uh, uh, I need to give credit. Uh, I, I have an entire yo-yo collection here of some interesting and different varieties that we will see during uh, our presentation. I did not gather them. A friend of mine from Utah State University, one of our uh, former students, Darren Olson, um, took this idea of operational principle and taught an entire course on it. And when he graduated, as a, a thank you gift, he gave me his entire collection of yo-yos, uh, which he, he's going to want back someday. <coughs> but I'm going to give him the Smithsonian. OK, what is an operational principle? An operational principle is an abstract idea. That, that's one strike against us already. Because designers like to deal with very concrete things. It's an abstract idea that provides a kernel or a seed that generates multiple specific designs. You use it all the time. You use this concept all the time. It is the skeleton of a design. It is mostly dimension free. It is proportion sensitive. I'll explain all these things. Proportion sensitive. It describes the structure or balance of invisible forces. It is it is the basis for substitution. That's how you create designs using an operational principle. You substitute things into the different slots of this uh, operational principle. And slots isn't the right word. But